I've always been a water baby. So when we got out into the Keys there in Florida, I was, you know, I was a kid in a candy store. I was totally stoked. We got out there and it was, um, it was like crystal clear, beautiful, just blue water. You could tell we were all kind of itching to get in. As soon as we, um, as soon as we taught off to that buoy and we were right by the coral reef and we could see everything that was around us, we were all ready to just like dive right in. Once you get in, there's so much to look at. There's, you know, so many different colors, so many different types of fish swimming around. Checking out the coral reefs and all the fish, just everything that's, you know, that, that's, that's swimming around. Once we got into those reefs, it was crazy. I think I got smacked in the face by a couple of fish. You're sitting there just floating in the ocean and looking down at everything and all these species, all the, habit, all, you know, the habitat that's around you and everything's living, everything's vibrant. And, you know, that's, that's what it's all about for me. So awesome down there, though, isn't it? I always think it's like going into another planet. We actually, you know, we got to go out to this little spot where they have um, this this Jesus statue. Oh, this might even be our good friend Jesus. It's it's big. It's a big statue. It weighs four thousand pounds, apparently. about 25 feet down in the water. All of us got to kind of like swim around it. So I made sure to dive down a little deeper and, and get a little feel just to, just to make sure I wasn't seeing things. You always wanted to meet Jesus. We're gonna be looking for uh, these anoles, the little lizards. Um, there's one native species here, it's bright emerald green, and then there, in this park there are at least four non-native invasive species. And uh, I study two of those, but uh, we'll catch whatever we can find. I used to use like strands of grass. We scientists use more sophisticated equipment. <laughs> so these are the uh, fishing poles that I use to catch the lizards. And uh, so they've, each one's got a little noose tied on the end, and then the idea is we're trying to get the noose around the lizard's head without it noticing. Basically, lizards. go fishing for lizards. Nice. Wow. wow. All right. All right. We'll, call, we'll call that beginner's luck. Distract him with one hand. Wow. It's kind of hard to photograph wildlife when it's on the end of your lens. You never gotten your ears pierced before? No. <laughs> no. Oh. oh, that's awesome. It's actually not all that bad. Once you realize how, how truly free you are out here to sort of do whatever you want and go wherever you want, and there's always that element of sort of mystery of like what's beyond the next bush or what's you know around the next corner or what's directly underneath the water, that's intriguing and that's exciting and that's not something that you get in everyday life. I think it's the general perception that Either you got to be Gore-Texed out and training for a marathon, you know, to, to go to the national park and to be outdoors. And it's, it's not like that at all, you know, like everything is at your own pace. I didn't even know that you could do half the things that we've done. We've had a blast. We had all of these experiences just like anybody else could. The fact that you can come out here and do this with like, you know, a, a handful of your best friends in the world. It seems like it would take a lot of effort, but it's really not. You know, anybody can do this. There's so many places like the Everglades that are in, literally in your backyard. It's an experience that is more accessible than people think. It's just one of those things where you just have to go and do it, and then you'll see when you get there. Yeah, you, you might get, you know, a little dirt in between your toes, but it's all healthy, it's all good for you. There's a key that opens the door. <laughs> It's made me realize that if you just step a little bit outside your comfort zone, if you just step a little bit outside the norm, you really do get to sort of reconnect with the things that you forget about. You feel a little bit better about yourself.
definitely. You can just even close your eyes and just bring yourself back. I will, I will take that away from this trip and remember that always and just try to use that to relax myself. I want them to realize it's not scary to be outside. Things aren't out to get you. It's a great place to just come out and put your flip-flops on, go out and really experience it because I guarantee it'll change everything you think you know about the place you call home. We have plenty, plenty more adventures to, uh, to embark on. I'd go anywhere with these guys.